Now, when I took the Easy Hiero V8 trail running shoe from New Balance out for its first run about a couple of months ago, it was the first time I'd ever run in this model of trail running shoe. And I've got to be honest, I wasn't expecting a lot from it. And it had never really been on my trail shoe radar. However, I had a great run in it, really enjoyed the experience. So since then, I've clocked up a good 80 miles plus in these shoes. So we are back today with a full review. So let's dive into the video and find out if the Hiero V8 continues to impress. Welcome back to the channel and thanks for tuning in again. I'm Lloyd Purvis and this is Run For Adventure. Now, if you're new to the channel and this is your first time checking out one of our videos, then welcome. It's great to have you along. And it's been a while since we've done a full in-depth review here at Run For Adventure. And I think this might actually be the first one of 2024. We have been super busy with first impression videos because it's a busy time of year with all the new shoe releases coming out. So I'm gonna have to remember how we go about it. So let's start off with some stats about this cushion trail running shoe from New Balance. So the Hiero V8 retails in the UK for 140 pounds. As far as weight goes, my pair in a UK 10 weighs in at 310 grams and they run off a six mil heel offset. So you get a stack height of the heel of 26 mil and 20 mil under your forefoot. I've got mine in this Neo Red colorway, but if you're not a fan of red running shoes, don't worry because there's three other colorways available for men and for women. Starting at the top with the upper construction and we've got an engineered mesh that's been made using 100% recycled polyester from textile waste, which is always great to hear. And speaking of recycling, the Hiero V8 is actually New Balance's most sustainable running shoe to date. And as we go through the video, you'll see that recycled material has been used in pretty much every aspect of the shoe. We've got a good level of padding around the ankle collar, in the heel and in the tongue. And we've actually got a standard tongue design in the upper, which is quite a surprise to see these days. You tend to see a gusseted tongue in most running shoes nowadays. We've also got some nice uh, structure in the back end of the upper from a nice substantial heel cup. And we've got lots of structural overlays, starting at the heel, working down to the midfoot, wrapping around those lace eyelets and then finishing up wrapping around that toe box. The laces come with a midfoot locking system just to make sure you feel nice and secure and locked down around that midfoot, just to avoid any sort of in-shoe slippage. We've got a really handy heel tab just to make it a bit easier to get in and out of the shoe. And then finishing up, up front, we've got a nice level of protection from a real substantial toe bumper. Moving down to the midsole, New Balance have chosen to use their highly comfortable, super bouncy Fresh Foam X, again in the Hiero model. Uh, it actually contains 40% bio-based material, so that's continuing that sustainable theme. And then if we flip them over, you can see we've got the bright yellow Vibram logo on the outside, which is always a good thing to see on the bottom of a trail running shoe. However, this time round, it's not their mega grip rubber like a lot of reviewers are saying, it's actually their Eco Step. And this is produced by Vibram using at least 30% recycled rubber. And then it's all finished off with a four mil traction lug pattern. So there you have it, a bit of information about the latest version of this very popular trail running shoe from New Balance. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I've racked up some decent miles in these out on the trails of Cornwall in some varied underfoot conditions. So let's jump in and find out how they performed. And we're going to start off with fit and upper comfort. Size wise, I definitely recommend going up half a size. Uh, I think they do size a little bit small and I tend to always go up half a size in all the new balance running shoes I use. And that seems to work out pretty good. Uh, toe box width, I wouldn't say it's narrow. I wouldn't say it's overly wide either, somewhere in the middle. Uh, I've also had good hold in the heel, good lockdown around my midfoot throughout those 80 miles and I've had no sort of foot slippage within the upper. However, I would have liked to have seen a gusseted tongue in the shoe. You know, like I said, no issues with that tongue, but 
I just like to have that gusseted tongue feel in my trail running shoes and I think it would have made the Hiero V8 upper just feel even more snug and secure wrapping around my midfoot. Now the last time I ran in a New Balance trail shoe with Fresh Foam X in the midsole was when we tested out the crazily cushioned Fresh Foam X More Trail V3. Now I really enjoyed the bouncy, comfortable feel the foam gave me out on a run, but there was just way too much of it and I felt really disconnected and pretty unstable when I was running on more sort of technical, uneven ground. Whereas in these, I think they got the balance just right. So this Fresh Foam X has given me a real comfortable ride on all types of terrain, but I can still feel the trails under my feet. So I think the Hiero V8 feels a lot more grounded, a lot more stable, and a lot more connected when you compare it to that deeply cushioned More Trail V3. If you watched our first impressions video on the Hiero V8, then you know that I laced them up and I took them out for their first run around a pretty wet and quite muddy Tahiti woods. And if I'm honest, this four mil lugged outsole did struggle in those heavier, muddier areas uh, when it comes to traction. It actually handled everything else really well, so no issues on the gravelly trails, the more compacted pathways, or on the woodland trails. And this Eco Step rubber has given me good levels of grip when I've been running in wet or dry underfoot conditions. It's definitely been a positive experience so far running in the new Fresh Foam X Hiero V8, but we've reached that point in the video where we need to get some points on the Run For Adventure board. So let's start scoring and we're going to start with price point first. So with the shoe retailing in the UK for £140, I think that's a pretty reasonable price to pay for a well-cushioned, versatile trail shoe with Vibram rubber on the outsole. So. I'm gonna score the Hiero V8 for price a seven out of 10. Comfort and performance up next, and like I said earlier, it's just been a very comfortable, easy shoe to run in. I literally lace it up, head out the door, go for a run, and I don't really give them a lot of thought. A nice fitting, comfortable upper, a well-cushioned, bouncy midsole that also offers good levels of underfoot protection. So it really does tick quite a lot of boxes. Obviously with that shallow lug, it does struggle for traction in muddy conditions, but you know, if you're running out there on firmer trails, you're crossing back and forwards between sections of tarmac, it really does do that extremely well. So I'm gonna give the Hiero V8 a pretty high eight out of 10 for comfort and performance. Last up is the all important durability. And with running shoes seeming to go up and up in price every year, we really do need to get good mileage out of our shoes these days. And these seem to be holding up really well. So no early signs of wear on the upper at all, not even at the flex points in the toe box. And I've also heard that some people are saying that this Eco Step rubber wears down really quickly. And I'm not experiencing that with these. There's hardly any wear on this outsole at all, maybe a fraction of wear on the outside edge of the heel. And I've done a good number of those 80 miles on the hard stuff on tarmac and that rubber seems to be holding up well. The only thing I have just noticed is that the midsole is just starting to come away from the upper here. It doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look like it's going to get any worse, but not great seeing that after only 80 miles. I think what I'll do is pop a bit of super glue down there just in case, but because of this, it is gonna get marked down a bit for durability. So I'm gonna score them a six out of 10. So if we quickly tally up all those points here at Run For Adventure, the new Fresh Foam X Hiero V8 from New Balance is gonna score a pretty reasonable 21 out of 30. Now we don't like to score the looks of a running shoe here at the channel because we are fully aware it's all about performance when it comes to our runners and looks is super subjective, but we do like to talk about it. So I'm actually a fan of how the shoes look in this neo red colorway. Don't worry, like I mentioned earlier, if you don't like red running shoes like me, then there is some other good color options available and I think they all look pretty smart. So it's gonna be a big thumbs up from me when it comes down to looks. As far as comparisons go, I would say they're not a million miles away from a Socony Exodus Ultra 2 or an Asics Gel Trabuco. Uh, obviously, if you did want more cushioning than this, then New Balance do the Fresh Foam X More Trail V3, which is definitely going to give you more cushioning. I personally think the cushioning level is just right in these. So wrapping up, if you're looking for that sort of workhorse trail running shoe, 
for those drier months, a shoe you can just throw on, head out the door, get in all those training miles, no matter how far the distance, then I would say that the Fresh Foam X Hierro V8 is definitely worth a closer look. So that brings to an end another full in-depth review here at the channel. Really hope you enjoyed the video. Really hope you found it helpful. Don't forget if you did to like, comment, share and subscribe because it really is a big help to the channel. And if you've got any other questions about the Hiero V8, please feel free to leave them in the comments below and we'll try and get back to those questions as soon as possible. But for now, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. It's really appreciated. We'll be back on the channel very soon with some more exciting running content. And as always, stay safe and keep on running. Starting at the top of the shoe, and we've got an engineered mesh upper that's actually been used making. Now, the last time I ran in a New Balance trail shoe with Fresh Foam X in the midsole was when we tested out and we pretty wet and quite muddy to hiddy woods. Uh, this four mil lugged outsole did struggle with traction. What's traction? It's a mix of traction and something else.